Now this is a very, very, very rare thing indeed. I've, uh, I've only ever seen two of these and they both, they both came on the last container. I bought them both off one guy. Uh, but these two, um, it's a 1968 Yamaha YL2CM, which is a 100cc two-stroke trail bike. Uh, so yeah, so I bought these two and I bought a 1964 uh, 80cc Trailmaster as well. Um, yeah, so I've only I've only ever seen the two of these, and the other ones uh, the other one's been sold. This one is uh, going up for sale today. So, um, what is it? It's a rotary valve two stroke one hundred cc trail bike. Uh, it's got some really 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 cool little details. It's got a passenger seat. Uh, and um, it's got, this is one of my favorite things, is the uh, the twin sprockets. So it's got the large sprocket for when you're going off road and the small sprocket for when you're going on the road. Obviously when you go from road to off road, you need to add some extra links into your chain, switch the sprockets around and this, that and the other, but a very, very, very cool thing, late 60s trail bike. And overall, it's in good condition, but it does need a full restoration. Um, these were the early um, FS1E engines, uh, so you'll notice very, very, very similar to an FS1E. Uh, this one's 100cc, um, but uh, yeah, very little has changed really. Um, rotary valve, which in the day uh, was uh, deemed to be a lot more um economical and provide more power than the uh standard um piston port engines which uh, which were around at the time and so this one would have produced a lot of power for a 100 cc bike and would have been if you had one of these you would have been the envy of your mates i'm absolutely sure so when i say it needs a uh, restoration uh, the engine turns over and it has good compression um but the main problem is there's no spark i've hooked a battery up to it and um i'm not getting a spark i haven't gone any further than that i've not traced any wires uh i haven't done anything like that there is no no kill switch uh on on the handlebars so it's possible that there's two wires that are um uh, disconnected which need to be connected back to complete the circuit. Uh, but I haven't I haven't gone that far. Um, so if we have a, a good look around it, the front mug guard is cracked. There's like a bracket. Someone can weld this back together or you could find a replacement, I'm sure, from somewhere. Um, it's cracked both sides here and uh, both sides here as well. Looks like someone may have repaired that at some point with a plate on that side, but uh, the rims we're going to need re chroming. Uh, the aluminium bits obviously just polish, it'll polish up. The headlight bezel has a few scuff marks in it, but is in full uh, headlights, you know, complete. It's done 4,920 miles, which is uh, not very much at all, and uh, fantastic low mileage bike. It's got the it's got the original fasteners for the uh, ignition system cover and this, that, and the other. Uh, the exhaust is going to need a rechrome, but it's the original Yamaha exhaust that would have come on this. Like I say, just a few bits and pieces. It'll tidy up lovely. Get the tank painted, the uh, fuel cap re-chromed, handlebars re-chromed, like I say, polished aluminium, new set of cables, go through the engine and you'll have a lovely and rare, very rare um, bike. Uh, rear, rear tail light is not damaged. Uh, it's a fantastic, fantastic thing. Uh, something a bit strange about this bike is the gear, is the gear selection 
So we're in neutral here. Uh, I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to put this phone down to uh, to do the old gearbox test. It's a long time since I've done one of these. So yeah. So we're in neutral, and that's at the top. So to get into first, we drop it down a gear. That's in first. Drop down to second, third. And fourth, and that's the bottom of the gearbox there. Four gears, back up into third, second, first, and back up to neutral. So there we go, we've got the full four gears. Uh, we have got the original key, which is a nice find. It's got Yamaha stamped on it. There is only one key. Um, and uh, inside the battery box there is no battery but there is the, uh, the tool kit now I've not I've not actually undone this I might as well eh, while we're here right sorry for keeping you in the dark there just try and undo this, which I thought I would have had done within seconds. But... Oh, someone's made this out of a, an old dinner tube, look. How very uh, ingenious of them. So, I want to say whether this is the original toolkit. Looks like some of the bits could be. Oh, look, there's uh, chain links. Yeah, I think this is an original toolkit, at least some of it is. Look at that, I've not seen one of them for a long time. An old ring pull. Might have to, uh, I was gonna say stick that on my wall, but I'll be putting it back in the toolbox for you. Um, yeah, so there's a few little spares in there. There's the top off a spark plug. There's a chain link splitter. Obviously, as we've said, this bike is gonna need uh, chain altering little socket there which you'd use with one of these uh, screwdrivers very very cool there's your screwdriver handle nice wooden handle I bet this is original yeah look Yamaha there we go there we go dogs are going mad because someone's walked past right so there we go, one 1968 Yamaha YL2CM, which is, like I say, 100cc Trailmaster, and will be up for sale this afternoon. Please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just search Phoenix Motos.